I say amen and amen. amen. Listen, when God tells you what to drop, mm. don't hesitate. Don't negotiate oh the headaches that you are getting. You are not listening to the voice of God. Right. You are pursuing. You are trying to resuscitate what God is trying to kill. You are resuscitating what God says. You don't need this anymore. You don't need this business anymore. You don't need this person anymore. You don't need this job anymore. Move to the next. But you are saying, I'm scared. But God says, I brought the pandemic. I brought the fire upon your house so that you can make a decision. There are things that you need just immediately after this prayer. Send and notice I'm not coming back. Uh, you gotta do it by faith. That's why I love George. I don't know. I saw George there. He was a man of faith. I told him one thing. I said, George, I hear the word. The Lord is telling me to tell you to quit your job. He was working with this company. I said, God told me to quit your job. He, said, he never hesitated. The two days later, George brought to my office. He brought the letter, the resignation letter. He said, P, if you can pray for it. I said, I don't need to pray for it. God already spoke last mm -hmm. night. We were in prayer on Monday. But on Tuesday, George brought an eviction, uh, 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 sorry, a resignation letter. He went to resign. He resigned from the job. Why? Because God spoke. Don't negotiate with your mind. Don't negotiate with your mind. If you're feeling it in your spirit, don't wait the next day. Don't wait. Do it now. Because you're trying to resuscitate what God is trying to kill. You're trying to keep the relation that God says. If you, if you keep this person, this won't come back. You're holding on to something and that person is blocking your millions from coming you gotta hold let go and let god shout amen, amen somebody the bible he said shall i pursue and he went and he went and he heard the word of god and he said pursue god spoke can you imagine god spoke <laughs> god spoke and immediately what did he do he got up he went and said he never told nobody I want you to see that scripture. He never told nobody. Please go read that story because of time. He never told nobody where he was going. But because God spoke, My God. God spoke, My God. God spoke. My God. I said, God spoke. My if you're watching me, please just type for me there. God spoke, God, God spoke. spoke. Let her to type, God spoke. Amen. You heard the word of God. Go back to Lesotho. You never argued. He mm. said, yes, pastor, I'm going. Mm. You got to be prompt when My God speaks. God. God does not consult your lawyer when he wants you to move to the next level. Thank he said, go. It doesn't matter how your finances are looking. You got to quit. Don't look at it in that way. Mm. Don't bring your kind of mind the bible says our weapons of warfare they are not carnal they are mighty through god to the pulling down of strong words and it goes on to say listen if you're carnally minded it's death but to be spiritually minded is, is life so you gotta be spiritually minded to understand what God is saying. Yes. Some of you, God is actually speaking to you right now. Mm. There are relationships, there are people you gotta let go. My Shout God. amen, yes, somebody. Yes. The Bible says he got out of, he took his effort and he went out. And watch this, the Bible says the 600 men followed him. Mm. The people that were planning to stone him. The people that were planning to, sp to stone him. They started following this guy. Mm. They left the house on fire. Can you picture this, picture this, picture 